So how do you know how high the blade should be? There's three guides that I teach, and we choose the middle one, but I'll teach you the two extremes, and we'll uh, go with the middle choice. The most extreme airing on the edge of safety is to only have a quarter of an inch of the blade showing above the wood. And that is considered the safest use of the table saw, the theory being the more blade that is exposed, the more likely you are to come into contact with the blade. But if you are using a home craftsman or some of the lower end home user models of table saws, you will find that if you are on this very uh, extreme end of safety, your saw is often working harder than it needs to. And if we move the wood to the other side, you notice there's all these gaps and, and things. And if the gaps are below the wood, it doesn't allow the sawdust to clear out uh, as much. And you'll notice that uh, um, the place that's actually doing the cut are these three teeth right here. That's what's doing the cut. And when we're down lower, that angle is the uh, smallest angle. The higher we crank up the blade, the more steep that angle becomes and the less wood that is being cut on each pass. And that makes the saw work less hard and less likely to bind and less likely to throw the wood out at you. Again, if you're using a less powerful saw, a home craftsman or a home DeWalt model, a home user model, you might have to err on a slightly higher side of a blade height than our preferred position. But the compromise then is to take one of these gussets, that's the, the deep, the little get, valley between the teeth, and whatever the deepest gusset is, that should line up to the top of the wood. And that's our compromise position, and that's the way we practice here at uh, Cal State LA. You could consider this extra deep gusset the deepest gusset, and that would be okay as well. But if these gussets are all allowed to come up and over the wood and clear out, that kind of pushes, allows the sawdust to spill over on either side and, and allows the saw to work a little bit easier. So we're going to go down with this particular blade. There's one option right there. And if we want to be a little bit safer, we're going to go to that as our option. So those are the uh, blade height adjustment guidelines. And you need to adjust the blade height depending on what thickness of material you're working with. This is 3 quarters of an inch plywood. So this will work for 3 quarters of an inch plywood or 3 quarter inch pine. It will not work for half inch plywood. It will not work for a quarter inch masonite or quarter inch luon. You'll need to adjust the blade to match the material that you're cutting. And it will definitely not work with 2x4. The blade will need to be higher if you're cutting a 2x4.